Welcome back. Joining us virtually this afternoon, we have Melissa Maker, animal advocate. Uh, Melissa, good afternoon. How are you today? We're good. Lily and I are just great. Yes, and so Lillian actually came from a puppy mill case. Go ahead and tell us a little bit about uh, her Baxter. We're talking all about puppy mills and how people can kind of stop supporting them today. Yeah, so Lillian was actually from the puppy mill in St. Landry Parish. And she uh, was picked up along with, I think, a couple of hundred other dogs. And I ended up fostering her and another little sibling mm -hmm. that she had, a nine-month-old poodle. <laughs> the, the poodle now actually is with a new family in New York and doing great. Yeah. She was three years old when I got her. I got her about three months ago. And the owner has since been charged with 174 counts of animal cruelty. Mm -hmm. That's. I mean, I'm glad and the owner has been caught. But um, Yeah. What she was doing was she was selling puppies online. So what I, what I caution people to do is if you want a purebred dog, great. I understand that people want purebred dogs. I, I will tell you 25% of animals in shelters are purebred. Mm -hmm. That being said, if you want a purebred puppy, what you really need to do is do your research. If you go online and you find someone, ask to come to the site where the puppies are. If someone offers to meet you in a parking lot or uh, wants to bring the puppy to you, don't. Chances are you're supporting a puppy mill. You want to see the parents and you want to see the siblings and you want to see where they were raised. Yeah. And you said you want to see the parents. Why is it so important that you do kind of scout out the parents of, of this puppy along with uh, the breeder? Well, because chances are, I'm sorry, my dogs are seen. <laughs> so chances are the, the parents, what I always say is somebody who pays $1,000 for a puppy probably wouldn't pay $5 for the mama because of how, or the daddy, because of how they look. They're mistreated. They've never mm -hmm. been groomed. They've never had back hair. They've never been cared for. And chances are they get dumped at the pound when they're 10 years old and they can't breed anymore. And nobody will adopt them and they'll be euthanized. Yeah. And but you were saying too. With, for a puppy. Yeah. And you were saying when you got Lillian, she did not look how she looks right no. now. What did no. she look like when you first got her? She was a matted mess and had to be completely shaved down. We're still working on her coat. Can you say hi, Lil? Hi, Lil. She's very shy and very scared. Um, she's been with us three months, and my husband still can't pet her. I'm the oh. only one she will let do anything. <laughs> yeah. Where she's just, it's sad because they're bred to be companion animals, and they're basically put in a cage and treated like wild animals, and never, she, I don't think anybody ever did a kind thing for her yeah. or touched her in a kind way. But she, she gets better every day. Every yeah. day we see a little bit of improvement. Absolutely. And she has a great mom, that's for sure, getting showered with level. Melissa, thank you so much for coming on uh, virtually this afternoon to kind of share kind of the, some of the warning signs for spotting these uh, breeders and puppy mills. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thanks so much. I'll have a great day. 